First up on the show, the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is traveling to Egypt as part of the ongoing push to secure a Gaza ceasefire and release of hostages deal. Now, interestingly, Blinken won't be visiting Israel during his latest visit. Blinken is scheduled to meet with the Egyptian officials to discuss the ongoing efforts to reach a ceasefire in Gaza that secures the release of all hostages elevates the suffering of the Palestinian people and helps establish broader regional security. The two biggest obstacles now are Israel's demand to keep its forces on the Philadelphia corridor to maintain a buffer between Gaza and Egypt and the specifics of an exchange of hostages for Palestinian prisoners held by Israel. Washington and the mediators Qatar and Egypt are still working to uh, find a revised proposal. The U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the mediators are ensuring that it is a proposal that can get the parties to an ultimate agreement. Miller said that the mediators are working together to decide on what the proposal will contain. The framework now being discussed is reportedly shorter instead of three phases of six weeks each. Meanwhile, the U.S. senior coordinator for Gaza on Monday called for an immediate ceasefire, the unconditional release of all hostages, as well as the unrestricted humanitarian access into Gaza. Time is sipping away as a man-made humanitarian crisis has turned Gaza into the abyss. It cannot be repeated enough. We need an immediate ceasefire, the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages, and unimpeded, continuous humanitarian access to deliver aid at scale throughout the Gaza Strip. The continued lack of effective protection for civilians in Gaza is unconscionable. The infrastructures that civilians rely on must be protected and their essential needs met. Now, the fear of the war in Gaza spilling into wider regional conflict has not completely subsided. The Hamas chief, Yahya Sinwar, congratulated Yemen's Houthi groups, a group for its missile attack on Israel's Tel Aviv over the weekend. The attacks, Sinwar said, sent a message to the fore. Also, tensions persist along the Israel-Lebanon border. Israel's Iron Dome defense system intercepted rockets near the border. This, says Israel's defense minister, Yorb Gallant, uh, warned the window was closing for a diplomatic solution to the standoff with Hezbollah. Now, this video we are about to show you on your screens right now was released by the Israeli Defense Forces. It is said to show strikes on Hezbollah targets inside of Lebanon. And our correspondent Jody Cohen tells us more about the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's visit to Egypt. Well, Secretary Blinken is scheduled to meet with Egyptian officials to talk about efforts to reach an agreement. Now, senior Biden administration officials have reportedly told families of some of the American hostages that the previous framework of a phased deal is no longer working in the negotiations and that mediators are looking at alternative, perhaps shorter frameworks. No timetable has been announced as yet for a new proposal, and U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin urged Israel to give the hostage talks more time to succeed before confronting Hezbollah, and Israel has said that time is running out. Meanwhile, U.S. Ambassador Jack Lew said that mediators don't know what Hamas is willing to accept in the talks, and Hamas head Yahya Sinwar sent a message to the Houthis, who remember fired a ballistic missile at Israel on Sunday, congratulating the Houthis and saying that Hamas is prepared for a long war of attrition against Israel. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.